different? Well, first thing, we already know that tangent of 15 degrees. We realize that um, that can be really rewritten as 40, 40 minus 15, right? I'm sorry, 45 minus 30. You know what? Why don't I just write this? Everybody agrees with me on that. Yeah. Yes? I, I believe you guys are going to be given it broken down like this. But just in case it's not broken down, you need to know how to break it down. I will help you break down your homework, um, Lyle, for radians. So anyways, to go ahead and do this, I'll say this is my u, this is my v. Um, you guys have the formulas now in front of you as well as up there. So I'm just going to actually plug in the answers, if that's OK, or plug them in. So tangent of 45 minus 30 degrees degrees is equal to the tangent of u. Now we're doing subtraction. So subtraction is the bottom sign. So the bottom sign in between tangent of u and tangent of v is subtraction. So I'm going to do tangent of u, which is 45 degrees, minus tangent of v. How do you know it's the bottom one now? Because it's minus. So that's the bottom of plus or minus. So you use the bottom sign here, which is minus. What's the bottom sign here? Plus. Plus. So you use plus over there. So then it's 1 plus tangent of u, which is 45 degrees, times tangent of v, which is 30 degrees. Does that make sense? Yeah. No? Yes. So is so whatever else. <laughs> uh, uh, it it's not that hard. All right. So now there's a couple things that go on. If you guys remember these, these coordinate points, as I told you guys, you, should, you guys should know these points very, very well, especially before your test next class period, right? You guys should be able to do this yes. no problem. Now, I also gave you guys those coordinate points. I gave you tangent and, and tangent for a reason, because I, you guys need to know how to simplify tangents. You guys should know by now that the tangent of 30 degrees in the first quadrant, y over x, that's square root of 3 over 3. Tangent of 45 degrees, you guys should know by now that's 1. And the tangent of 60 degrees, you guys should know by now, is square root of 3. You shouldn't always have to do y over x and then flip the reciprocal and simplify. You guys should have done enough examples of this by now to automatically just know this. Because we've practiced enough of these examples and I've given you enough of these problems. You guys have done this work. You have done tangent of 30 degrees, y over x. And you should have noticed, wow, I've done this problem probably like 5, 10 times. I just know the answer is going to be square root of 3 over 3. If you don't, well, that's why I tell you guys to do those practice, you know, those problems, because you have a lot of examples to keep on doing it. Um, so anyways, tangent of 45 degrees, now I can just plug in the answers. So that's 1 minus tangent of 30 is square root of 3 over 3 divided by um, 1 plus tangent of 45 degrees times square root of 3 over 3. Not simplified, though. So now we need to simplify it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have fractions in the numerator and we have fractions in the denominator. First thing we're going to want to do is get rid of our fractions in the numerator and denominator. So what we'll do is we'll multiply by 3 over 3. Just 3 over yeah, in each, in each numerator and denominator. So what happens when I multiply 3 times 1? I obtain? 3. three. What happens when I multiply 3 times negative square root of 3 over 3? The 3's Cancel. divide out, so I'm left with square root of 3, right? Over 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. And then 3 times positive square root of 3 over 3 is just going to be plus square root of 3. Is everybody OK with my math? What about the second one? That's there. You mean the 1? Yeah. These are separated by multiplication. So you don't, need to just, you don't distribute across multiplication. 2 times 4 times 3, you don't distribute. It's just 2 times 4 times 3, yeah. right? So really, what's yeah. 1 times square root of 3 over yeah. 2? Right, so I just didn't simplify it further. So now, what we're doing in Algebra 2 class, in my Algebra 2 class, we're learning how to simplify radical expressions with a binomial. And what we do is we multiply by the conjugate. So we multiply by 3 minus the square root of 3 to get rid of our radicals in the denominator. Up here, up top, you guys hopefully should know by now for all the number of math problems you guys have done this 
at this stage. When you have a binomial multiplied by itself, that produces a perfect squared binomial. And when you have a binomial multiplied by itself, but the signs are different, that produces a difference of two squares binomial. So I could do FOIL for the top and the bottom, but I'm going to try to save some work here. And I'm just going to write out the answers as 3 minus 6 square root of 3 um, plus 3 over 9 minus 3. So hopefully you guys can see, if you did your work on the side, you guys will be able to see where I got those numbers. I'm still not done. Um, if I combine this, I get 6 minus 6 square root of 3 over 6. Do you guys see how 6 divides into 6 and 6 divides into 6? Mm -hmm. So my final answer is 1 minus square root of 3. And that's it. That's it. Done. You can thank me later that you only have. Ah, yeah, I was thinking 2 should have been there. Why is 2 not there? What did I do wrong? What do you mean 2? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. That should be 9, right? I, I was thinking 1. That doesn't sound right. So that should be 12. Thank you. That's right. I knew it. 2 did not look right. There you go. There you go. Thank you for that. Save me and save that video.